Hello, Chef. Hey, Chef. We are making a beet salad with uh, fennel salad on top, uh, some ricotta cheese, and some toasted hazelnuts are gonna go on top of that. We call this a beet salad? I mean, look at this. It's like little paper. You think it's too thin? We have extra beets. But I don't think you have enough time to do that. 10 minutes, I'm doing it. Beets are too thin. Uh, I'll just make a few thick one, Matthews, to go on, on the bottom. Veronica, I don't know if we're gonna have time for that. We're just gonna have to improvise. Time is running out. Veronica tries to cut more beets thicker on a mandolin. I'm leading. Ow! Oh. Medic! And she cuts herself. Uh oh. We have two minutes to play this. Blood is gushing everywhere. Our captain is down. Let's keep cooking. I always thought people that don't use guards on mandolins are idiots. I'm an idiot. Two minutes left of plating. I look over and there's nothing on those platters. Matthew, Matthew's just gonna run with what we have. Okay. Julia, I need your help here okay. right now. I, I don't know who's gonna take the lead now, but while Veronica's down, she's still screaming directions to us from the sideline. Uh, Matthew, just run with what, our original plan. I have to do something, I have to step up. It all have to look like this. Okay. Matthew, are you still on time? Yes. We're trying to make Veronica's vision come to life. The blue team is also struggling to assemble their beet dish. Oh, these are all weird sizes. Just, just go with it. I'm a perfectionist. If I put out a plate that I'm not completely happy with, I think it might break my heart. Good job, guys. Looks great. Get it away. Wait. Uh, okay. Where's the reduction? Good job, guys. Reduction. No reduction. The last second, someone yells out balsamic. Put it on, put it on, come on. Just drizzle over, drizzle over. Go, 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 Keep go, 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 go. And they're whisked away to service, and I have no idea how they're gonna go over. These look awesome. You are so great, thank you. So, Mel, right. you're having the blue team's beet carpaccio sitting on the watermelon. The beet's very earthy, and yet you get a little hint of summer with the watermelon. It's really interesting. Play. This is delicious. So that's a thumbs up for you. Thumbs up. I love the blue team. I love the way they did it. Like the layer, the color, just came together so beautifully. Really, like one of Kim's collections. <laughs> just, just perfectly. <laughs> now this one, on the other hand, on the red team, looked a little disheveled. Maybe more like a collection I would do. No. <laughs> Jeremy is a sushi expert, so he's pretty much in charge of the entire second course. How about your soy? Do you want that in a squeeze bottle as well? Yes, please. I'm feeling a lot of pressure. I need to execute it perfectly. Hi there, Jeremy. Can you just walk me through the dish that you're about to serve up next? It's a crab sushi roll with caviar and spicy mayo. I'm getting a sense that you're a little bit rattled. I don't have a sushi mat. Do you think that should have been taken into account before you did the menu? Yeah. Probably. It's up there. Good luck. I've never done this without a mat yeah, before. Sure. Why didn't we think of this first? Guys, we're winning this. I'm not bleeding for nothing. For our seafood course, we decide to do a crab cake with a couscous and hummus underneath. Veronica, what do you think about the brown on the crab cake? Oh, the brown looks gorgeous. Veronica is a very strong leader, and she's a woman that knows what she wants. Do a smear. Do a vertical-ish couscous but she should be using Matthew more because Matthew is great at plating. This is Veronica's vision. It's not elegant. What's gonna happen to the hummus? What's gonna happen to the couscous when they're taking it out? It's gonna go everywhere. You don't want fashionable people's clothes to get dirty. Jeremy has managed to roll out his sushi without a mat, but it's a slow process. How many more rolls do I need to do? Three more. We don't have enough of the one with the nori on the outside. The vision for the sushi rolls is to have rice on the outside, nori strip on top, just like the white and black dress that I saw on the runway. You need more? How many more? One more, one more. Guys, guys, come on, one more. I literally rolled a sushi roll in like 20 seconds. Come on, we can do this. Come on, come on, come on. It's just a mad scramble. Grab them, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is looking good. So, on the red platter, they're serving up crab cakes with couscous sitting on some freshly made hummus. And from the blue team, they have made a crab sushi roll with spicy mayo. Bon appetit, everyone. Help yourselves. What do you think, Lainey? When I saw the blue team was serving sushi, I'm from Vancouver. You better impress me, because the world's best sushi, I think, is in Vancouver. It's really good. That sushi really captured the stripe of the dress 
and of, of, uh, of Kim's uh, aesthetic. I thought the red tea, this couscous on top of the crab cake with the capers, very salty. Looks like a pile. And I prefer a little more finesse on a plate. You want to eat it with your eyes. The blue and red teams are scrambling to finish a three-course meal for Canada's fashion elite. Move faster. Hold on, everyone relax here for a second. And their lamb sharing plates could determine which team wins the challenge and which team will have to face the pressure test. One second, it might be cooked OK. I cut into the lamb. That's under. That is so rare. It's rare. Jacqueline's really pissed. I totally get it. Sean doesn't seem to understand the urgency that I feel. Why is that absolutely tasty? Guys, I'm really worried about the blue team here. If they fail on this last course, it could be all over for them. In order to get these dishes out, we somehow need to bring this lamb up to medium rare. So we just start cutting it up into individual servings and searing it in hot pans. If we have undercooked lamb, we could be going into a pressure test. Faster, 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 faster. So when I say jump, they need to move. Over on the red team, Michelle has found a solution to the wind problem. The team comes together and puts up a whole bunch of pans to block the wind, fix the problem, get it done, and move on. Two going on. We're good, guys, we're good. Michelle is amazing. She is like a Tasmanian devil in the kitchen. They look spectacular. She's cooking the lamb, she's searing the lamb, and the lamb looks perfect. We could win this. With only seconds left till service, the blue team has to pull their lamb chops out of the pans and get them on the plate. That's all of them? Yeah. Guys, I need somebody to help me plate. Here. We've got enough lamb. Zest? Do you want me zest? Uh, we don't have time for zest. I have it right here. Zest reduction. As the last platters leave, I'm actually worried that we might be going into a pressure test. I'm a little disappointed about the cook on the lamb. I don't want the loss to be attributed to me. Guys, that looks beyond spectacular. I think we did this one properly, guys. This last dish is amazing. Yes, you guys! Yes! Woo! Woo! Yes! <laughs> the guests will now sample the third and final course. The red team's pan-fried lamb lollipops with arancini and mushrooms two ways. And the blue team's herb-crusted lamb ribs with onion puree. Cynthia, what do you think of the presentations? To me, the red team has knocked it out of the park in terms of presentation alone. This presentation, it's polished, it's enticing, it's inviting, it's very appetizing. I would agree. I don't know about you two, but I'm partial to the red team's presentation right now. It is outstanding. Flavors, the fact they made an arancini with the two types of mushrooms looks fantastic. The lamb on the blue team looks a little bit undercooked. Mine is, mine is almost raw. I really like the seasoning on the blue team, but I think from an overall presentation and sort of taste factor, the red team won this. This was an important course for the red team. They evened the playing field a bit here. Red team and blue team, you've just survived an incredibly demanding and difficult challenge. Both teams cooked their hearts out. Now it's time to find out which team achieved the perfect balance of style and substance. comes down the runway and she's about to unbutton her coat and reveal the winning team. I'm willing whatever is under that coat to be blue. victory. I think this is pretty much the proudest moment of my life right now.